Hey, welcome back to another episode of 501 BBQ. I'm Brian Robinson. We got Kelsey behind the camera. Today, we're going to show y'all how we fire up our Brio. This is the X Series 24 inch. This is a beast fire pit. We've been taking it camping with us, cooking in it, or cooking with it in the backyard. This thing, if you've not seen it, it's kind of the smokeless fire pit. Got to have good dry wood for it to be smokeless, but we really like this thing. Made in the USA and it's built like a tank. So today we are going to show y'all how we fire it up. The first thing we're going to do to start this thing is we are going to use about four of the Royal Oak Tumbleweed fire starters. These are great for this. It may not need four, but we use four just to get it going quicker. So I grab these out and I just kind of set them. These are little vents, these tabs. That's where some air comes out. So I kind of set these just right on top. And that's kind of why I do four. And then we will take some wood and this is pretty small wood. You want small dry wood to start this thing. So all we're gonna do is kind of build like a log cabin style just kind of get it in here and then we'll start stacking it in and so for this middle piece I like to take something real skinny kind of like this right here something that just catches easy and we'll set it right in the middle and then we'll come back again with a couple more here and then that'll finish us off right there so i'm gonna weave this lighter down in here and we're gonna light all the tumbleweeds if you see how easy they light so that is going so now we're just going to take our last skinny piece and put it right over the middle as you can see we've got us a few more small pieces we got another small piece I'll go ahead and throw that right there. We do have one bigger chunk. So once this burns for about 10, 15 minutes, I like to add a pretty good chunk of wood to it right on top. And that'll kind of give you a good bed, whether you're just gonna cook or if you're just starting a fire, that'll get you a little more coals built up and then ready for some more wood. But we'll come at you whenever we normally add this stick. been about 15 minutes since we lit this so as you can see the smaller ones we put in the middle they're burning down pretty good that's going to give us a little base of coals they'll kind of just end up falling in the middle and that'll just keep that middle fire going so right now I may actually take that kind of poke those down a little bit and just stick us one more fresh really good dry piece right there in the middle and then that ought to have us going so basically I'm not going to touch this until this little cabin just kind of starts falling in or you can once you see that everything's took off pretty good kind of shovel it around and in the Brio you want to get a lot of your hot logs and coals to the outside that way it heats up and that helps with the smokeless aspect of this fire pit so we will come back to y'all as soon as this is kind of ready to rake around and then we'll finish it up there. This has been going right out about 35 minutes. So to me, it's kind of ready where I normally spread everything out. So you can see these skinny pieces that we had in the middle. They've built up some coals there. So all I'm going to do is just kind of knock this down a little bit, spread these out. Make sure you wear a glove, it gets pretty hot coming up here. So I'm just gonna kinda lay those that way. Now I'm just gonna come back with just a few more small sticks. And we are fixing to get some chicken ready that we're fixing to do another video on. We got some little Cornish hens fixing to go on this Brio. So if y'all wanna see how to cook on this thing, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of our future videos because we plan on doing quite a bit of cooking on this Brio. So y'all follow along. 
But we appreciate y'all watching this, and we'll catch y'all next time.